Cool. So we're just going through an unboxing. Uh, the uh, new Keenan FCR 39 flat sides. Um, this is what we get in the box. Uh, I haven't seen any videos doing this before, so I thought we'd just do one. Um, cool. Genuine parts, adapter and funnel kit. Excellent. Cool. Two of those. Wow, look at these bad boys. Whoo! Get excited. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to hold the phone and do this. And there's a motorbike in the road. Come on. Go. Cool. So, so I don't break, you know, these $3,000 carbies. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it down. Um, so a phone wrapped in there, which is good. And we're going to slide them out. Oh, look at those. Whew. I think that's all that we get in the box there. Cool, so these are currently spaced up as they come for the um, FZR1000. Um, so we're going to go through a re-spacing process. Um, might take some pictures and videos and stuff like that. So we'll see how we go. Um, so what we're going to do, is we're going to flip these over very carefully. Take them out of the bubble wrap. Without dropping them. There we go. Look at those. So this is the downdraft edition. Um, this is a brand new set. You can tell by that. The FCR 39s. Uh, the sticker on the side. They usually only come with the... Um, with the... Um, what am I talking about? That that sticker, if they are the downdraft, take for example these ones. Um, no sticker on that side, and they got Keenan riding on these ones, and you can tell I've taken the balls off these. I oh, know there they are there. Um, so these are the the horizontals. Um, I'll get a bit of photo in in comparison at the moment, but these are all brand new. Um, noting they don't come with spigots. Um, they do come with a nice long, <laughs> it's definitely a lot longer than the other one, nice long, um, adjuster, um, I haven't seen that before, not that long anyway, um, what else, yeah, they're all jetted, um, ready to go for, um, unleaded racing, uh, we, we, we're gonna re-jet them and set them up for methanol, uh, so we'll pull all the jetting out, and do it all properly that way. If we need to make up these new hoses, we can. Um, and uh, the throttle shaft, if we need to. And then we'll go through and, and see what we need to, to re-space. So you can see these lines on them. Um, that's where I think they've been re-spaced already. Um, for the... Yeah, for the... For the um, that the guys did them to set them up. Uh, but that's all good. We're also going to replace this middle bit um, with a T-piece. So that uh, you'll, you'll notice this one over here. This one's half done. Um, just putting it all back together. But you'll notice this, this T-piece here. There's a T-piece in here in this section. So that's actually for the um, return line. So these two are the inlets. Fuel, fuel all four carbies. And this is the return line. That's how we maintain a particular pressure. Particular... Um, flow and pressure so um, you'll see that one's got a cap on it that doesn't interesting not too sure why they did that um, that's all good so what, what else make sure everything else works on here I'll flip it back over I don't really want to drop them Yeah, so everything slides nice, nice and sound through that. Oh, that's tight. That's very tight. That's probably because they're brand new. Very hard to do this one hand. 
Oh, I can't even do that. That is so tight, that spring. Ow! That's all right. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, find some spigots. So what I talk about these spigots here, um, you'll see these these are a particular set of spigots. So they they screw into the the throttle body, um, and then they'll they'll mount into uh, whatever engine you're running down there. Um, so I have to measure up measure up those ones and find the spigots to go together with these, um, and then go from there. Cool, so that was a bit of unboxing with the, the Keenan, brand new Keenan, FCR 39s, um, all set up, ready to go, um, so we'll get on to pulling them apart and then uh, go from there. Sorry guys, one more thing, just forgot to mention, I just thought I'd open up these boxes and uh, oh, look at that, got some uh, spigots, um, which they're going to go on the bike, they'll just hit the FZRs and get some uh, plastic velocity stacks. Um, haven't tested much of the difference between the plastics or the um, metal ones that we that we get um, from TLR, so haven't done much. But might be an idea to chuck them on the dyno and check it out. Um, very difficult. To open this box one-handed. But uh, there you go. That's that was what in the in the uh, um, cardboard boxes what they come with. So that that'll be. Good. What I'll it'll take us all of five minutes to set those up, but um, that's too easy. There we go. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, got the little bolts in here. That's a bit better. Can see now. But uh, there we go. So we got some uh, spigots within here, which is which is cool. Got the velocity stacks. Um, but I'll put it all together and um, see what it looks like. So that's the plan. Um, I thought they might have come with, uh, O-rings on the other side, but guess not. So, just one thing to note, um, it doesn't come with any of these O-rings. Uh, that's alright, they're not that hard to source. Um, and I'll probably order some with the next batch anyway. Um, yeah, cool. Sweet as. Cool. Ciao for now.